Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we explain how to create a video or animation by using static images. As a demonstration, we use PNG files to create animation. However, everything explained in this video tutorial can be applied to other image file formats such as JPG or JPEG. Over here, you can see a series of PNG images. They are generated in Python and they represent state trajectories of a particle filter used for estimation of dynamical systems. On the other hand, over here you can see an animation created by connecting these images together. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to connect all these images together and to create this amazing animation. To create this animation, we will use a completely free program called Blender. Blender is a powerful and popular software for creating professional looking animations. Before watching this video tutorial, you need to install the latest Blender version. In our case, we are using Blender 3.5. However, with small modifications, everything explained in this video tutorial can be applied to other Blender versions. A link to the Blender download page is given in the description below this video tutorial. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 450 free video tutorials that you can find on this YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Okay, let's start with explanations. Once you open Blender, you will see this startup screen. Then, click anywhere on the screen, for example, over here. Then, click over here and find this menu Video Editing. Then, click on Video Editing. Over here, click on Sequencer. The sequencer will be used to glue all the images together. The next step is to add images. So find this menu Add, click on it, then click on Image Sequence. Over here you need to locate your PNG or JPEG or any other format files. In my case they are given over here, they are under the codes. Then uh, I have a folder called Particle Filters and my images are located over here. Now. Pay attention to this file format. I created images by using this format. And it's very important to properly sort your images. The best way is to use this format, that is, use four numbers to denote the image sequence. Now, since I want to add the images starting from the lowest number, that is, starting from my start image, 001, I will click over here on Date Modified to sort the images, since the first image is created first. Then click on A to select everything and click on Add Image Strip. OK. Now, all the images are given over here. Now, watch carefully what I will do. You need to make a few important adjustments. In my case, I have 1,000 images. Consequently, I would like to have 1,000 frames. However, over here, you can see that the first frame is frame 1 and the last frame is frame 250. This means that my animation will end with the image number 250. So I need to correct that since I have 1,000 images. So the end frame should be the frame 1,000. Okay. Next, over here, you need to adjust the frame rate. You need to select the frame rate. I will select 25 as a frame rate. Over here, you can change the resolution of your animation. However, I will just keep the default setting in order to make this video tutorial as short as possible. The next thing that you need to adjust is the file format. So scroll down and find this output menu. Here, first of all, we need to adjust the file format. So click over here and select the proper file format. For videos, you have these three options. 
For example, I will use the first option. Okay, here you need to select the color. Let's use RGB. Quality, let it be 90%. And let's specify the name of the output file by clicking over here. Then, here is the folder in which the file will be, sort, will be stored. And let's specify the file name. I will call my file as video one test. Okay. And let's click on accept. Besides the AVI file format, you can also select FF MPEG video. However, if you select that option, you need to change the quality and to set the video codec. Usually we use the standard video codec over here, and over here you can also specify the quality. People usually use loose less quality. And you can adjust other settings. However, for the time being, let's just stick to our original AVI file format. Now we are ready to render our animation. So click over here on render and click on render animation. And over here you can see the rendering process. You can see how your animation is created. Over here you can see the frame number and you can see the time. This process will take some time depending on how fast is your computer and depending on how many images you have to glue them together. After several minutes, the render reached the frame 1000 and the process is completed. Okay, so you can close this window. Here's the source folder for my animation and let's play our animation. Here it is. Looks amazing. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in next video tutorial.